Okay, back with another Fat Finger demo. This one's going to be hopefully a quick one. I want to start using rainbow mode, and for, I'm going to start working on something. Uh, if you've seen these, where is it? Uh, here you have um, these different background colors. So I'm starting to work. I want to try and write some functions that are going to deal with the uh, colors. So give me nice looking, making nice, nicer looking, what you call it, uh, thumbnails. Okay, so. Let's get into our why is it so slow opening up? Rainbow. No. Okay, where should this go? UI tweaks. Hmm. Not sure exactly where this should go. Yeah. Not why if I'm here. Why if I'm here. Let's get rid of uh scroll bars. This is, oops, should be easy. So, so, so scroll uh Mode. Yes. One. Okay. So that's got we got rid of school bars, which is kind of um no, what was it? Uh E C Oh so it's off today. What are you doing? Oh, that's why. What happened here? I think go back like that. And so what I did, uh, uh scroll balls. Okay. And yeah, but, but, but I'll show you with them my whole thing of trying to get this thing working. Okay, where should this go? I will refile it later. I will refile it later, but under what uh, here. Now what does rainbow mode do? Let's need to get it installed. It, what it's going to do is going to show colors for uh, color color strings. Why is it doing that? It's really weird. Whenever I save, um. So let's find out about that. Yep, it's going to set the backward color that it's going to match. I think that's no, that means things like red and that aren't going to do it, but and this is actually, I think it's a built in product. No, 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 it's not. So, Max, this. Um, uh, use package. Rainbow mode. Uh, yep. I was gonna save and do whatever that thing is. I'm not sure why. Yeah, sure why not. Okay, so I knew I should have rainbow installed now, and I should be able to get find out about rainbow mode. And yeah, so, I wonder if there's a global rainbow mode. Doesn't swing like it. There's no global. Uh -huh. 
So I wonder if it's a global. Okay, not sure how it's. Uh, let's go back here and. Now that should have rainbow mode, hopefully it's installed. Let's see. Do things like this. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Now I really, let's go into the uh, scratch buffer. Let's just make sure that this works. No, it's not, it's not global for some reason. It's not global, so how do we make this thing? Rainbow mode, R colors, X colors, anti colors. Max list mode to fucking another one. Rainbow X colors mode. What are X colors? Not sure what those X colors are. Maybe that just isn't on. See, and why wasn't it? I want. I always wanted it to be on. Okay, that worked. Look. Let's try this instead of. Uh -huh. Instead, we can do with hook. And we will do prog mode. Now if we go to up, oh. kill my scratch button. Tell them work.
Oh, why didn't that... That's weird. Yeah, it's supposed to be proc mode. mode. Now I forgot to scratch up for me the Emacs Lisp mode. And now we got rainbow installed. Okay, so we got FFF. Great. And what about red? Also good. Black. I wonder if that's going to work. Oh, I changed that to. See, this is actually what I want to do. And let's try it, like some kind of gray. That's. That works. So, what about a lighter gray? Darker gray. That's a darker gray. Good stuff. Okay, so I want to check out and see how they're actually doing that because that's kind of what I wanted to get to do is that I want to get a random background color and I want to get a uh, and I want to get a uh, the text color should be the inverse of that. Should, should be something that matches. And I'll show you. I'll show you in a minute what exactly I'm talking about. Next video. So that's it. That's getting rainbow mode working. I will see you on the next one.